Hello everyone, um, welcome to this uh, introductory video for a series of uh, topics relating to dentistry. Um, before I um, go on to saying my whys, uh, I'll quickly go through uh, about who I am. Um, I've been very excited about this for the past, uh, I don't know, maybe four or five years. Uh, but um, I was all ready with, with my content, everything ready to start off about a week ago and I've been putting it off uh, because I'm quite nervous as you probably can see uh, from my mannerisms. I'm trying to not do it and this is probably my 20th take to try and get this right but I think I'm just going to go for it now. So uh, I am um, going to give you a little bit of background about myself so that you know you can give me some of your time just uh, credibility building more uh, so don't take on any of this is bragging why i'm telling you uh, who i am is so that uh, you know that uh, you know you want to stay and watch the uh, this video and all the other ones the ones that i'm going to put out so i am ishar rizwan hamid uh, also known as ris um, uh, actually known as ris in all my dental uh, circles because uh, people were finding it hard to pronounce ishara um, I finished my uh, BDS and I'm a dentist from 2002. I completed my internship and uh, did a senior house residency short stint of about six months at Cotton Dental College in Kerala. Um, that actually was a huge uh, eye opener. I learned a lot of uh, skills. Um, and I saw a lot of um, the, uh, you know, uh, be it surgical techniques or be it, uh, you know, uh, rare conditions or, uh, you know, intermaxillary fixation, you know, the uh, moving the maxilla forward, moving the mandible back, taking the uh, clavicle and putting, replacing the jaw and uh, tongue replacement, all sorts. I saw all sorts uh, in the six months um, uh, our uh, staff uh, professor there, uh, he was amazing, uh, Dr. Adis, and he helped uh, us learn a lot, but it was a bit traumatic for me, and I couldn't um, deal with, you know, uh, you know, loss of life or, you know, you know, breaking bad news of cancer, and it was, it was not meant for me, so um, earlier on in my career, I, I decided uh, I didn't want to go down that route. Uh, um then uh we me uh, and uh Aji, my husband he we've been working in uh i uh, he moved to the uk uh his sister was a dentist already here i came joined him in 2005 uh the indian government had conducted an iqe exam because there's a real shortage in uh in the uk for dentists and so they conducted the first part of the conversion exams at the time called IQE in India and I did I was part of that I think 400 or 500 uh, odd dentists who did the exams who moved here so uh, completed my conversion exams in 2006 and I started working in 2007 um, I worked in um, I did work in hospital because ho hospital at the time was mostly max facts and I didn't want to do max facts uh, but I did NHS and uh, private dentistry and uh, about four or five years I worked uh, as a GDP. Um, I uh, did a lot of courses during the time, um, you know, you name it and I've done it. Uh, short term orthodontics, um, facial aesthetics and fillers, IV sedation. Uh, then I went on to a bit more structured long-term course like uh, um, a restorative course. I did a one-year uh, course with Paul Tipton, which is very good and I would recommend it for anybody. But at the end of it, I still didn't feel like I knew enough or I was confident enough to do, you know, all sorts of cases. Um, and um, so uh, I decided that I wanted to go down the path of specialization uh, since uh, so in 2012. I decided I want to take that path and in 2000 I applied for uh, courses starting in 2013 so I, have, I only at the time um, or, or I'm not sure I think it's even now that it's only the three colleges in London Eastman uh, Queen Mary's and Kings that have uh, the rotation where um, you get onto the specialist register uh, in the UK uh, uh, GDC 
So um, I applied in 2012 and I did not get selected. Uh, I was badly uh, dejected, but I knew my competition was stiff. I was competing against local graduates. There was only three posts in, in each of the uh, colleges and the only nine posts in all of UK. So um, I was uh, badly dejected and I was uh, told so that it's quite hard to get through. Uh, so I gave up on the dream um, for about three months. And uh, then I uh, was gonna attempt it again. And at that the second time round, I was very focused. I was clear. I knew how to. Uh, I improved my statement of purpose. I improved my CV. I um, met all went to all the colleges. Met all the staff. I um, got a good understanding of what each of the colleges represented and what their strengths were. And so um, I sort of. Uh, had to uh, adjust my CV and SOP to be like the perfect candidate for, for the institution. Uh, I went on to courses and met some uh, most of the staff uh, on the program. So it was um, a very focused approach and I did not give up. And that is another thing as well that I went back, I applied again and uh, thankfully I was selected uh, for the interview and also uh, one of the three uh, local graduates who got selected uh, into for September 2014 intake for King's College. Uh, so first time round I applied to all three colleges, second time round um, I wanted to study at King's, I was very sure of that but obviously I had a plan B and applied to Queen Mary's as well and thankfully I got selected both places but I chose kings and uh, I don't regret it one bit actually. So I completed my course in 2019 September and now I am a specialist prosthodontist uh, on the GDC register for the UK. Um, I am one of the 103 uh, specialist prosthodontist ladies in the UK or, or when I applied in 2000, I, I think I, I uh, registered in early 2020. So um, that's a little bit about my background uh, as, um, as to come to why I'm doing it. Um, dentistry as a profession is not very loved uh, to say the least, um, especially in India. I know uh, my friends who are finished uh, as MDS or newly, my, one of my cousins qualified recently and she gets like paid 5,000 rupees. 5,000 rupees uh, is nothing. Um, I saw an advert uh, for a peon um, and uh, the qualification uh, he had was BDS when he applied uh, for a peon's job, which is quite, uh, was making headlines in India at some point last year, or I don't know if it was the year before. So anyway, that put me into uh, the thing that um, a lot of dentists are struggling and uh, I think that, uh, you know, every I keep getting asked, what courses to do in the UK, you know, how to come to the UK, how is the conversion exams. And obviously, uh, since I gave the exams in 2006 uh, or 2005, sorry, and it's completely changed since then. So all the information I know is as well what is online. And I used to tell the people, so, you know, just go online and research. And I understood that it's, I know it's not that easy and it's quite hard. And um, so I uh, am... Um, been wanting to you know know all that information and actually COVID 2020 has helped me and given me that time to make my uh, you know just refresh all my knowledge understand all that is there uh, so I started doing um, uh, writing up all the information but I understood uh, later on that you know it's easier for people to understand when an information shared as a video so that's why uh, the whole transition of the uh, video uh, to explain things for everyone a little better. We will, um, so how I uh, am planning to do this is I've got a few different avatars that I'm planning to do. So the first one is for dentists, uh, mainly the target audience is based in India, but anywhere really, uh, about how they can move to the UK and the exams here, what are the obstacles that they face, um, the different courses that's there uh, and uh, Actually, uh, in the process, I've actually uh, done um, some research about how they can move, move to America, Canada, Australia, um, and uh, New Zealand. And I'm in the process of uh, I've started with Southeast. So I'm just doing uh, one country, different countries. I've 
getting information from people who are already done the exams or are doing it so i've got a lot of experience from them i've got some videos from some of them so um all that i want to compile and uh help uh, y'all make a sort of decision um you know so that information is there again also about courses that you can do here in the uk um you know short long different types of courses that is there um uh, uh, and the other things about dentistries there's a lot of um concepts in dentistry particularly prosthodontics that uh, that i understand fairly well because you know when you do it you understand it so uh, and i've done a webinar recently and i got very good positive feedback from it saying that i was um, explaining something that they've heard from year one all the way up to their uh, final year but uh, you know they haven't had a full grasp of it so um, like occlusion as you all I know it's not very easy but uh, so I've I you know I just want to explain some simple concepts some you know techniques for you know uh, how, what's the bonding procedure for zirconia oh so can zirconia be bonded you know how it is done properly efficiently um, resin bonded bridges their longevity just just a basic about you know all, all aspects of uh, dentistry that i've gained through my course and uh, my uh, many years of experience uh, working as a gdp uh, i also want to bring about um, you know i want to introduce everyone to uh, the evidence-based dentistry so you know how to read papers how, what papers are important uh, just to put out uh, you know some uh, of the most uh, uh, important papers that you need to know in dentistry and um, more so in prosthodontics because that's my field of research um, uh, coming to research i i've done my thesis on uh, combined effects of erosion and attrition so um, those are my key topics and you know i would definitely like to bring out uh, some information about that uh, for you all as a dentist. Um, the other thing that I want to, uh, my other avatar, uh, if you say so, it can be, uh, is gonna be RIS Dentist. Uh, RIS Dentist is um, just to bring some awareness about, um, you know, general things like, you know, what is tooth decay or how to brush your teeth, what toothbrush do you select? So those kind of things are um, going to be brought out as um, a RIS dentist. Uh, I'm very new to implant dentistry, although it was part of the curriculum. My um, placement was not really, uh, so we, I've done lots of restorations, uh, you know, for three years. I've, yeah, I've got hands on for a lot of different restorations, different techniques, different um, systems. But placement wise, I am a newbie. So um, I am uh, in, go going to be in the process of you know how a newbie's uh, journey into the implant world so i'm going to be doing something about in uh, risk implant diaries um and also um again you know um i'm a very opinionated person so i have a little um uh, views about uh, little and strong views actually um be it political be it uh, family wise so uh, yeah i might um, uh, not I might. I would definitely like to bring some of that, uh, some of that gyan that I think, it, you know, it might be just small little videos, but that, those those are the things that I want to do uh, with this channel. Um, so I uh, hope that uh, you all will support me through this, and uh, hope that I can uh, offer what I've said and more. Uh, um, dentistry is an amazing profession to be in especially for when you can choose your time and uh, you know uh, how you want to work the days you want to work so i love being a dentist uh, uh, like i already mentioned it combines um, you know aesthetics it combines pain relief it combines uh, you know helping a person regain their confidence uh, it's a person to person uh, interactive uh, job which i love uh you know so in all i think dentistry is an amazing profession and i hope that uh, through this journey i can help you all achieve uh, your uh, best potential uh, as a dentist and uh, more so hopefully um subscribe uh, give me a thumbs up and if there is any topics that uh, you want me to cover or you know you guys want me to discuss any country anything just put it on the comments below and i will try and get through to it okay stay tuned thank you bye